have few minutes to pray plenty of prayers and we don't have time to wait for anyone who does not catch the fire on time so immediately you hear it begin to pray just a few minutes to pray this prayer say every dark power contending for my portion your time is up down in the name of Jesus every dark power contending for my portion Say thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for tonight. I will give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. Thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the victory that was won on Calvary. Thank you for the mightiness of your name. And your power which is above all powers. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In louder, amen. Let's have a say God bless you. Tonight, we're looking at a message titled the cage of time wasters the cage of time wasters and you do well to pay close attention to this kind of message the cage of time wasters In Psalm 90, Ni Ori Daffidi Ori Adorum, verse 12. S. A. K. G. La. The message of tonight, A Cotia Salai, shall be used by the Lord, O Niolu Ayolu, to drive out Lati Leja de every tree of darkness in somebody's life. Go boy, Pio, a toa, you know, a year, Nicole. Psalm 90. Ori Daffidi Adorum, verse 12. He says this. He says, So, Benny, teach us to number our days. That we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Teach us to number our days. That we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. In modern day English, say, teach us to be able to observe the times of our lives and, and cautiously guard our times. So, so that we waste that time and we apply our lives to wisdom. In Psalm 31, verse 14. Psalm 31, verse 14. Fear there, say yes. So, but I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. Now, verse 15. So, my times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies. And from them that persecute me. Here he is a man who has handed over his time to the Lord. 
Please keep this at the back of your mind. In Ephesians chapter 5, you can see the seriousness of this matter in scriptures. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Ephesians 5, 15. Ephesians 5, Let's, let's speak it from 14 and 15. Let's speak it from 14. Ephesians 5 14. So wherefore he said, I wake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. See then that he walks circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil redeeming the time because the days are evil listen carefully beloved time is the coin of life the coin of life and if you are not careful other people will spend it for you. Is the coin of life. Beloved, is the most valuable thing a man can spend. Time is free of any but priceless. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. Time is more valuable than money. You can get more money. But you cannot get more time. Lost time is never found again. No wonder they, they taught us in school. They said, tick, says the clock. Tick, tick. So what you have to do do quick time is not a friend of anybody time does not cooperate with anybody it is you who will have to cooperate with him you see so the bottom line is this beloved we do not really waste time it is ourselves we are wasting once you are wasting time you are wasting yourself and there is no way you can kill time without enjoying eternity the bad news is that time flies like a aeroplane but the good news is that you are the pilot you are the pilot and when time is killed, beloved, there is no resurrection. In the olden days, they say a fool at 40 is a fool forever. No, if you're a fool at 20 now, you are possibly a fool forever. At the age of nine, the Lord pushed Samuel out. He became a national prophet. I don't know how old you are now. At the age of 30, Jesus started his ministry. I don't know how old you are now. At the age of 80, Moses started his ministry at old age I don't know how old you are now but I know that there will not be many people here who are 80 years old there are people who think they have plenty of time whereas they have 
very little time. I want you to understand that, that time that you are wasting away doing useless things. That time you could not sit down to analyze how you spent. It is waste of life. So let me be very clear to you now. The only place you should not hurry to get away from is the presence of the Lord. Presence of the Lord. So to become a man of the hour you must make every minute of your life count that's why it is not how long you live that matters but how well we live the wheels and chariot of time does not wait for anybody it's always moving forward God's, God's time is moving hour by hour minute by minute second by second some foolish people think that they can live by any schedule that they choose and that in their own time when they fancy it they will not be serious oh, you make a mistake a great great mistake I pray that the Lord will help us. What do we mean by time thieves? What are time thieves? What are time wasters? Who and who are in this cage? What are time thieves? What are time wasters? Who and who are in this cage? A time waster is anything that you are allowed to occupy your time that is not necessary. Anything that you are allowed to occupy your time that is not necessary. It's a time waster. A time waster is anything. It's anything that prevents you from doing things that are necessary to be done. The necessary things are not done. But yet time is going. That's time wastage. I want you to understand this very, very well. What are these time wasters? Let me now begin to look at them one by one. The number one time waster is idleness. Idleness. Or sloth. Idleness. What is just sitting down there doing nothing contributing nothing adding to nothing just there so what are you doing there? Say, I'm relaxing I want to say this, this thing has to be taken more seriously say relax God is in control relax do nothing Idleness is a very serious matter. A lot of people are idle and they are praying for God to bless them. It's not possible. That's what the Bible says. Whatsoever your hand find it to do, do it with all thy might. Those time you are wasting, you could spend it working for the Lord. Those time that you have in your hand that you are free, you could invest it into heaven. So, idleness is the first time waster. True. Excess of sleep. Oru asunju. Excess of sleep. Oru asunju. Some will sleep, sleep, sleep at home. They come to church and continue. I want me to watch soon. Let to go back. Want to tell you something. Want to see what that man's. Thereby keeping the ushers busy. I say, wake up, wake up, wake up. Nick Babel, I'm a fool. I'm a son of Nisha. Say, G G G. Go no no re. 
you are in the house of, of your father. You are sleeping. Somebody else is waking you up to wake up. <laughs> Something is wrong somewhere. Really, really wrong somewhere. Excess of sleep. You want to sleep 10 hours a day. You want to wake up at 1 p.m. in the afternoon when you slept at 8, 8 p.m. last night. Around the 12 midday, you are still wrapping towel around your waist, walking about when others are walking. You claim you are working, waiting for a breakthrough. Or else I just busy lazing away the time I'm sleeping. Three. Inordinate adorning of the body. Inordinate adorning of the body. In the house that I used to live as a bachelor. The houses of face me, I, I fight you. We are, we are almost 32 in that place. And there is just two bedrooms. There are some women. Once they enter that place before you, the bedroom before you, there is no point in waiting at the door. Just wash your face and brush your mouth and just go to where you are going. Unless you don't have work to do that day. One hour in the bedroom. What is she doing there? Nobody understands. She goes to the room again. Another one hour. To dress this up. Dress that up. Put stash in the eyes. Put color in the lips. One hour before a meal. That's wasting time away. Nobody says anybody should be dirty. No, no, no. But a lot of people waste a lot of their lives just dressing up. Many will walk up and down, up and down before the mirror, looking at their new dresses, walk up, up and down, up and down, up and down. They do that for 30 minutes. Some will walk and walk and walk and cut walk and cut walk and cut walk before the mirror for almost 30 minutes. I want mirror. Why do you want to One man, if you're noble, full of my schedule. They're wasting time. And those who cannot do the cut work, they do the elephant work. I want. Wasting time. Four. Unnecessary ceremonies. Unnecessary ceremonies. Something that could be done in five minutes. Somebody is then doing the same thing for two hours. Unnecessary ceremonies. This is what we are here for. This is what we want to do here. And we start now. But somebody will take the microphone. This parable. That proverb. This. That. Useless stories. Wasting people's time. Unnecessary ceremonies. Five. Unnecessary curiosity. Please, what, what's your business about the clothes the other woman at the door is wearing so you want to peep out of your window to see how she's dressing why the time you stand on the window peeping at somebody else and watching how she's working out the kind of clothes is a waste of time these are small small things that steal away our time six needless celebrations Needless celebrations. I want to celebrate this. I want to celebrate that. I want to celebrate this. I want to celebrate that. 
and so you celebrate every kind of thing that God has done for you, but now you are trying to feed human beings who didn't do anything. Had nothing to do with it. Seven. It's good to me. Good to me. That time you spend eating and eating and eating and overeating is time wasted. Eight. Drinking. Drinking alcohol. Every time you are drinking alcohol, you are wasting your time and your life away. All drunkards are time wasters. Nah. Idle talk. Conversations that carry no fire. Conversations that have no bearing to your life. Gossiping that is a useless one. All these are time wasting powers. Ten vain and sinful company. Friends that are not contributing to your life. Very vain friend who will never discuss anything that helps anybody's destiny. These are time wasters. There are people here tonight. If they can pray themselves out of all these time wasting procedures. And key into what God has for their lives. They what progress they will make. Eleven. Needless, inordinate sports and games. Needless, inordinate sports and games. A New Testament Christian could not sit down and be playing card, joker, watch, judo. If you are still in that category, you can sit down with the traditional game they play and the Ludo and the word, snakes and ladder, uh, then you, you don't know where you are going yet. See, the Joko, Lati Tatete, Ablati Tayo, oh, Monton, she's Twelve. Excess of worldly cares and business. The Bible says, "Be careful for not to just sit down, and think, 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 think about the cares of life that will fizzle away." Thirteen. Ungoverned and sinful thoughts. Thoughts that are ungoverned and sinful. So you sit down and think and think and think and think and think and and those thinking is sinful. And the thinking is completely vain and worldly. The thinking sometimes is exercising self pity. Fourteen is reading vain and useless books. Vain and useless books. Books that cannot help your destiny. Books that cannot move your life forward. These are time wasters. Fifteen. Unprofitable studies. Undertaking for vain glory. Unprofitable studies. Undertaking for vain glory. I just seeking the glory of man. So I just want to study it. I just want to study it. All these 
the time wasters. 16. It's the unsanctified and ungodly heart. Wicked heart. Hearts that plan wickedness and deceit. They are all. Seventeen. Procrastination. I will do that tomorrow. I will do that next week. I will do. I will do. I will do. I will do. I keep pushing. I keep pushing. Until you find out you have wasted time. Eighteen. In our days now, the computer. A lot of people spend majority of their days at the front of the computer. Looking inside the internet, looking at this, looking at that, looking at that. They just waste the majority of their lives at the front of the computer. Nineteen is the television. Television is the greatest witchcraft around. Always position at the center of the house. And a lot of life have been wasted because the useful time they have for heaven, they have spent it at the front of the box. I'm telling you this. So you say they say we should not waste our time, but I do what what do they mean? That's why I'm coming down to the level to explain everything to you very well twenty is telephone the only reason some people are controlled in telephone is because no no credit and some who they don't have the credit but they want to waste your own so they start flashing you flashing you flash you so when they call they talk very quickly very quickly very quickly but when you now when they flash and you call back they now slow down wasting time 21 is disorganization Time waster. Twenty-two. Vain interruptions. Vain interruptions. Nobody invited you. Nobody called you. You are just intervening. You are interrupting. Some people are discussing in the bus. Doesn't concern you. I say sorry, sir. Don't, don't say I interrupt you. I just want to contribute. I can ask you to contribute. Twenty-three. Saying yes to everything. Everything is yes. You can't say no, so I don't want this. They are time wasting. Twenty-four. Is useless entertainment. Useless entertainment. You're entertaining yourself. You're entertaining others. And you gain nothing. This is a very serious matter. Twenty-five. Spreading yourself too thin by trying to do too many things at once. You want to be jack of all trades. A master of none. Spread yourself too thin by trying to do too many things at once. 26 is being afraid to delegate. You don't want people to do things for you. You want to do everything by yourself. You waste time. 27. By something now in this generation. They call it Facebook. 
Facebook. Facebook is just wasting destinies away now. Oh, I talk about the error. It is the Facebook. Some are even addicted to that Facebook on the computer. They enjoy just reading about lives of others and watching pictures of others, and they spend the majority of their days doing that. You know what? That is my cadet by Lumiro. Once you look at the clock, you can see you want to do a roy. 28. The drop in visitors. I want a little, a take for the phone number. I'm not expecting the visitor. Oh, ready and one to you. So I was just passing by. Oh, you can call your learning. I saw you say hello. Mobile can kill you. And the hello starts at ten o'clock. I want to kick you. Oh, but I go mewa. Eleven o'clock is there. I go mock a royal one. Midnight is there. I go do a royal one. Ibe. Chatty. One sorrow. Chatty. One sorrow. Twenty nine. A cock on dini obon on schedule meetings. I want a party. Ten you should tell it. Tell it. The waste time. Oh no, if you are so full. Thirty. Oh, lack of objectives and priorities. I need to do more. At the can you go to or rather you put your coaches? You have no objective. Go see to do more. Go see it. You have no priority. Go see on two of us. Much shall you come and then you waste time away. As my fear, I go to show for the baby. I pray that tonight all those who are in the cage of time wasters the power of God will deliver them in the name of Jesus the actual amen is very weak try and understand this beloved try and understand this the person who discovered photography was not somebody who was interested in uh, things was not somebody who was interested in things of science he was actually an army officer just playing around with things during his spare time instead of remaining lazy he was using that spare time to do something he discovered photography the electrical motor was, was discovered by a book binder it's just a book binder but it is in any spare time instead of just sitting around loafing away he goes to do something else you may be interested to know that the fellow who invented typewriter was a farmer Oh dear, Agbeni, farmer, Agbeni. Every time he went to the farm and came back, instead of just sitting at home saying, "I'm tired from the farm, I want to rest, I want to do anything again," he spent his spare time doing certain things. Discovered the typewriter. Nigba kid, but nobody likes to occur. Tio, you know, uncle likes to say, "I want to come here and tell you something." Lu aware. Nigba be ori er ota fin te wey. They were able to utilize their time for something. Oh, she she fun lati lu a koko wa fun koto wulo. The fellow discovered telephone was a school teacher. The tire that you have on our vehicle today, that tire, pneumatic tire that you blow breeze inside. I want a roti on the tire on the vehicle. It was discovered by a medical doctor. They use their spare time well. The value of time arises from the fact that the time is short. It's short, it's uncertain. That's why the Bible says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow. So you say, What do we do now? To get myself away from the cage of time wasters. The first thing to do is this. You must make God your friend. Make God your friend. So God becomes the director of your life. He determines for you how you spend your time. Two. You must surrender every aspect of your life to the Lord. Every aspect. Nothing, nothing left behind. Number three. 
identify your priorities in life and identify your destiny so you won't waste time do things that is not relevant to your life identify your priorities identify your destiny number four keep away from things or human beings who waste Keep away from human beings and things that waste time. Keep away from things or human beings that waste time. And number five, submit your time into the hands of the Lord. This number six. Play time wastage out of your life. Play it out of your life. And last but not the least, pray in divine orderliness into your life. Tonight, we have prayers to pray. We have actions to take. This kind of message is coming forth. Because heaven is complaining about the way many people are wasting their destinies away day by day on daily basis bow down your heads where you are bow down your heads if you have been wasting your time you must have seen one or two things here tonight you please ask the Lord to forgive you ask him to forgive you because those times that you have wasted is gone forever you cannot turn back the hand of the clock there are people here tonight the Lord has been calling you into his business they have been running and running and running the question is for how long will you run for how long you will run from that which is the pattern of your destiny a lot of people have friends your company with your friend they anoint you and they empower you your friendship with that person has not added any value to your spiritual life why should you as a believer continue in that kind of relationship talk to the Lord now he that walketh with the wise shall be wise. I want to buy a bottle of money, won't you? Who walk with the foolish shall be foolish. I want to buy a bottle of money, won't you? Who walk with the foolish shall be foolish. A lot of people have wasted some have even wasted years but you can cry to heavens and get a divine settlement tonight rise up on your feet my beloved rise up on your feet the prayers of tonight they are prayers of restoration prayers of recovery prayers of reinventing prayers of taking back what the enemy has stolen the bible says the thief comment not but for to steal to kill and to destroy God is not happy with the way many of us spend our time your first prayer is the prayer of the psalmist and I want your voice to roar like fire and like thunder my my times are in your heart Oh, my God. 
Give me some shout this love. Let your voice roll like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Basita katende kayaba. Sande Katenda Yabu Shenteraba. In Jesus, we pray. Look at this, Neak Badura. Samson. Samson. Had so much time in his hand. He began to tell stories. He began to joke with his destiny. He began to go to prostitutes. Anointed, anointed, but wasting away. Until his use of time endangered his destiny. And he fell into the hands of the enemy. This is why you should, you should pray this prayer with violence. Power of time wasters in my life. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Say by fire. By force. I recover my wasted years. No papada. I want to move this sofa. We are going to pray that prayer three times. Three times. By force. By force. I recover my wasted years. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to recover it. In Jesus' name we pray. Second time, open your eyes. Jesus, may we pray. Number three, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Demons of spare time! Get out of my destiny! In 
Jesus name we pray now say my lost virtues can you allow your voice to be louder than the person close to you arise by fire look at me now in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray. Say my pending miracles. My pending breakthroughs. Manifest by fire. In the name of Jesus. My pending miracles. My pending breakthroughs. Manifest by fire. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. We want to war against a particular power. They are called the blood drinkers of the night. There are people here tonight. The activities of this power has been harassing and tormenting their lives. As we are putting this singular prayer point, whoever is here and the night blood drinkers have access to your blood, all of a sudden you feel the power of God coming upon you and the virtue they have withdrawn from you shall flow back quickly. Say, blood drinkers of the night! My life is not your candidate! Death! In the name of Jesus! Something is happening already! My Santi Katelaka! Ribo Sende! La Katelaka Abo Shentalaba! Yes, that is the power of God coming upon you! Jesus name we pray. Let me wait for this operation to be completed. The access to your blood must be withdrawn. Whatever they are sending to you, whether it is mosquitoes, whether it is serpents, whether it's, whatever it is, recover your virtue back in the name of Jesus. That's the first person over there. That's number two, number three, number four. Aha. Benning. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Goliath that stop my parents. Hear the word of the Lord. You cannot stop me. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, go now that stop my parents. You cannot stop me. Therefore, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening here today. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray. Amen.